second and three. Brings up second and three. This is Homer. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Anthony so here's a first and 10 at the 38. It's a gain of six. First down, Seahawks. Going on the ground with Homer. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. They'll run this with Homer. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 47. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. He'll get about four here, Chris down to the 43-yard line. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive, and like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. That's complete into the hands of Carson. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. It's a gain of 10. First down. Now Wilson on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. There's Wilson. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. Flushed out right. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want... On third down, Wilson. They'll run the screen with Carson. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like, whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball Bring on it. us pretty well. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. At their own 29-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, just shy of the 30. He'll look to throw right away. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That's good. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Now here's Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. Here's the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. 
He was tackled at the 27 yard line. A seven yard pickup brings up second and three. From the 27, Mahomes forced out to his left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Throwing now is Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 27 yards, and the Chiefs have taken the lead. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And yeah, that makes it a 7-3 lead. Harrison now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. First down. On first down, Carson had a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Now it's Wilson. Here's Carson with a catch out of the backfield. It's a gain of five, and that's going to lead to a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. On the ground, this is Rashad Penny. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Three on the play. First down, Seattle. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Steps away to his left. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. The intended receiver was DK Metcalf. And now it's second down. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Wilson leaves this one with Penny. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Popped as he was throwing it. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good, but when you can couple that with contact on him, it leads to an incompletion as we just saw there. That's winning football.
Legendary on the field, uh, kind of grip is a skill, uh, this the high school of field, uh, ain't nothing to the heel. I so it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Flush to his right. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. To throw again on second down, Wilson. This is caught. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf. 33 yards. And the Seahawks are going to retake the lead. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10 7. Seahawks 10, Chiefs 7. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. Yeah, after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Fair catch made at the tight guard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the win out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. They had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Mahomes now on first down. Buying time to his left. And he's got his oh, man yeah, in stride complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Travis Kelsey with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Chiefs are once again going to retake the lead. now to add the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. Makes the score. Chiefs 14. Seahawks 10. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. There have been points on the board. We just saw back-to-back -back touchdown drives. I love it. I'm high-fiving our statistician, Christian McLeod, and you, you're, you're angry. You're a defensive guy. If you met one of my defensive coordinators, God rest his soul, I'm surprised he isn't in this booth right now wanting to really take you on. This is not football the way he sees it. He wants a good old-fashioned kicking game, defense, field position, and we're getting an up-and-down-the-field game here. I'll take him. Where's, where's his tombstone? <laughs> Boot Hill, baby. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now Rashad Penny. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second. They'll run on first down. It's Carson. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. He's across midfield. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. 
It's now second and six. Now it's Carson. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line.
Time because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Third and two, now Wilson. And the Chiefs are going to get him. 